Okay, nice work on our first visibility exercise. You guys are doing great, but you may be wondering what was the point of that? Why would we use visibility to hide something when we can just delete it, okay? So in this exercise, we're gonna see a different application of that property and how you can use it to make your contact more your content more interactive. This exercise is caption on demand and this web uh, web page showcases four different animals. Each animal has a picture and a caption, okay, similar to what we just saw, stating a few facts about the animal. Each picture caption combination has been grouped into a gallery item class. You're going to fill in a CSS rule using the visibility attribute to create a page that allows the user to hover over the gallery item as shown by the dash border to see the caption. So we only want to see the caption when we hover over the border. Okay, so, or I'm sorry, hover over the gallery item. So let's go ahead and get started. So when we run this, okay, you'll notice if you open this up in a new window that you don't see any captions, okay? We want to make the captions visible when we're hovering over it. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on in the HTML. We can see that the captions, okay as well as the images are all in that gallery item class okay and each animal has a id that makes it unique okay so we are going to create a rule that combines a lot of the knowledge from our previous lessons with this new visibility property okay so over in the css we already have our selectors nice and neat or um, already entered in for us okay so when we hover over the whale in the caption we want to make it display all right now in the previous exercise i tried to find some more information on that visibility property and it wasn't here but if you go down to the css properties and you open up this link for w3 schools it's basically going to bring you to the css reference page for all css properties and it's nice and organized in alphabetical order okay so i'm going to go down and find visibility so we can get some more information on what values this property takes okay this is a really Really great resource to use. So over in visibility, when we open this up, we can see that visibility takes either visible or hidden. We've already used this hidden to hide the captions, and now we're going to use the visible value to make it show. Okay, so I wanted to point this out because this is a great resource. If you don't find something in the Code HS docs, come over here to W3 Schools and you'll definitely find it. Okay, so over here, we're going to go ahead and basically add that in. So visibility, visible. Okay, it's basically going to be the same thing for my other one. So I'm just going to paste that down through my other rules. And now if I refresh, I should be able to hover over my animals and see them, see the captions. Okay, so there goes the caption for my whale, for my shark, dolphin, and octopus. All right, so this is a more functional use of the visibility property. You can use it to show and hide things. Okay, make your content content interactive. Okay, you can, um, you know, just have a more clean look if you'd like and just show content that's necessary when needed. All right, so that wraps up our lesson number nine on visibility. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Nice work, everyone. Please keep it up.